But first, a controversial issue. Should it be controversial at all? Should women be allowed to breastfeed on planes, aeroplanes? Well, that is the question Shelby Angel was left asking herself. Uh, this is after a flight attendant told her or asked her to cover herself up while she was breastfeeding her one-year-old daughter on a flight. Yeah. Well, you say, you say told her, asked her. That's the thing. We're going to the Netherlands. Shelby joins us uh, there. She lives in Holland. And, um, and, and, and Shelby, good morning to you. Ruth was saying, were you told? Were you asked? Were you requested? Were you ordered? Well, um, I felt that it was a demand on her part. She appeared next to my seat holding a blanket in front of me. And she said, if you want to continue breastfeeding, you must cover yourself. Was there a complaint that you were actually doing this? As far as I was aware, there wasn't. Um, she continued, after I refused politely, she continued to state that if someone did complain, it would be my problem to deal with. Yeah. KLM, the airline you were travelling with, they say not all passengers feel comfortable with breastfeeding in their vicinity. Sometimes these passengers complain to the cabin staff. To keep the peace on board in such cases, we will try to find a solution that is acceptable to everyone and that shows respect for everyone's comfort and personal space. This may involve a request to a mother to cover her breast. What do you think of that policy, Shelby? Well, I think, first off, that it does lack respect and understanding for breastfeeding mothers and our children. Um, I know I'm not alone in this, but my daughter hates having anything touch her head. I can't put a hat on her. I can't do anything of the sort. How can I get her to stay still long enough to cover her with a blanket? All that was going to do was make her mad. And I think a huge part of this issue is the fact that women's bodies are so sexualized. Yeah. All I was doing was feeding my child. I wasn't sitting around with my breasts out. I wasn't unnecessarily leaving my top open. I have little breastfeeding tops that have clips, so I can only expose what's necessary in order to take care of her. Yeah. Also, as I understand it, um, Shelby, the flight was delayed, you were sitting on the tarmac and you were concerned that your daughter was getting a bit grisly and you felt actually you were pacifying her which would be a great help, actually, to the people sitting around you rather than having a screaming baby. Exactly. We had already been awake since four in the morning because we had to drive from Sacramento to San Francisco, and she was exhausted. It was well past her nap time, and we were waiting and waiting, and I was trying to get her to go to sleep. Um, Shelby, um, this is going to come up because already people have been in touch, and some say, some say, why didn't you express... Or would it have been easier, more convenient, more suitable all round if you had expressed milk before the flight? So I'm just putting to you uh, what some people may say on this. Um, technically, yes, it would have been a possibility to have pumped milk before the flight, but it was a 10-hour long flight nonstop. And during that 10-hour time, I would have needed to be able to remove milk from my breast. Otherwise, I would have faced not only discomfort, but a potential clogged duct, duct mastitis. And so the only options I've seen so far to be able to comfortably pump on board are in the bathroom, which is not only unsanitary, but yeah. holding all of that equipment that is required and not having anywhere to set that down in those incredibly small toilet areas on an airplane would have been next to impossible, I think. Well, yeah. you, you feel understandably uh, humiliated by this. We're now going to debate this in the studio. You've set the argument up for us. Uh, thank you very much. I just have to say, Shelby, one of the things I'm really surprised at is that this comes from a Dutch airline. You sort of think to yourself, you know, very liberated. A bit more um, yeah, yeah, a bit more open-minded with these things, but obviously not. There are but quite often opposing views to these things, and uh, we have two women with us this morning, Lottie Daly and Virginia Blackburn, who do have opposing views on this. Um, a lot of people say, Lottie, it's perfectly natural. She's the feeding mother. She was trying to do it as discreetly as she could. She was actually pacifying her baby so that the baby didn't get grisly and disturb other people. <clears throat> Here we are again debating it. Are you surprised that people are still offended? I'm so tired of this. My God, it's been nearly eight years of, since I became a mother and got involved in the politics of breastfeeding and nothing changes. In fact, we seem to be continuously going backwards. But 
there is a tool that people could use if they wanted to on the plane. Look away. Yeah. Okay. Look away. Well, Virginia. Virginia. Women the, the... can do what they want. Breastfeeding are there for not for men, not to be looked at. It's just there to feed your baby. It, no woman goes, da da, here are my breasts and I'm feeding and look at me. No one does that. Women just get their boob out and they feed their baby. And it's not, you know, I don't even know why we're having this conversation. Why are we having this conversation? It's ridiculous. Between you? Because some of us find it extremely offensive to have this going on in public. God. I have to say, I mean, on this airplane, it's not even as if she wasn't being asked to breastfeed. She was only asked to cover up. No one was telling her to stop doing anything. As for these women who go, da da, yes, they do, actually. I was on the tube quite recently, and a young couple sat down um, opposite me, and with a flourish, this woman produced a breast <laughs> and then clamped her child onto her. That would be so ridiculous. So... Nobody I'm does not being that. ridiculous. Nobody it was does that. Exhibitionist. It was rubbish. awful. Totally it was rubbish. awful. And the reason we're still having this debate is that so many us find us objectionable. No, the reason we're still having this debate is because we've got an archaic attitude towards breastfeeding in this country and we've got a woefully awful, repressive attitude towards women and the role of the mother in this country. And I think that this flight attendant was being a massive snowflake, thinking that people who she hasn't even asked are going to take offence to a breast. At the end of the day, it's a breast, it's there to feed your baby. There are breasts everywhere, free the nipple. We see men's nipples all the time. We see nipples everywhere. But and a woman feeding her baby, well then, you know, we need to tell society that because tips are used for absolutely everything these days in terms of, look at Love Island, you know, everybody's looking at these women in their boobs out. You know, we're always told you to think they're role models? back. Absolutely not. If you want they are covered your... up. They are covered <laughs> yeah, up. Yeah, but, I mean, yeah. they're just, it's just a body part and it's just... It is what is it, but just what, what is it, what what is it is. that you find, is it... Are you? Do you find it awkward? You say you, you know it's abhorrent, or but is it that you're just awkward because you think oh, I don't know where to look? Yes. Well, I mean, or, or the there's also <laughs> yeah, and there's also the sound effects. Don't forget that. It's not just a body part because if it was, then we'd all be wandering around topless. I mean, there's a reason well, that men, men do. go. Yes, exactly. I was about to say that. No there's a reason. About that. Yes, because it isn't. I mean, forgive me for it's using this nipple. term, but it's it's not just nipple. It's secondary genitalia. Is that, is, is that because so women's, women's breasts there. have been sexualised? I mean, women's breasts are there to feed babies. That's what they're, they're also for. There but over the years and the centuries, and they've been sexualised. Therefore, that's when people are going, oh, awkward, I've seen a breast. And you think, well, why are you awkward? And everybody they're else there to attract right, men uh, as much as they are to, to feed children. I mean, that's a fact. But when a woman is taking her breast out to feed her baby, she's not there trying to attract a man. Yes, yes. but it's the same object that is used elsewhere. But that's the man's problem, surely. Then, then why aren't we all wandering around topless if there's no problem with Because we're not breasts. allowed to. Women's nipples are super Would offensive. you want to? Would you want to? Yeah. Well, I wouldn't, is <laughs> all I can say. People might not want to see it after three kids, but, you know... <laughs> Um, we have got we have got a lot Still of comments. Um, sadly, they're not in favour of your argument, um, uh, Virginia. I, I, I accept that. I mean, from the way that people talk about it, you'd think that I was advocating killing the firstborn. All I'm saying is cover yourself up a bit. I mean, that's it. We do. Um, Cara well, Louise, it annoys me. It's OK obviously. for page three to exist and other such things that I can't feed my child without covering up. Um, Amy says, I've breastfed on a KLM up flight before. Nobody told me to cover up. Breastfeeding is a right of a mother to feed her child anywhere she chooses. People need to grow up and stop being pathetic about it. And OK, so guys, go on. thank you. If you want to <laughs> contribute to that thank conversation that. after what you've heard, please uh, do uh, get in touch. My, my big surprise really is that anybody can see anything in an aeroplane anyway mm. these days. I mean, the seat in front of you is like this. You can't recline your seat. I mean, I don't know how on earth you turn your head to see anything or even... even physically be able to breastfeed. I did it last week. I, uh, two weeks ago, I flew up to Scotland. I had a man next to me and I had an elderly lady on the other side and people just went, oh, that's so lovely. And people couldn't do more to help. And when I breastfeed in public with my baby in the sling, mm. walking about in Tesco's, people go, oh, that's lovely. I've never had a I bad comment. I get the impression, Virginia, you, you wouldn't be saying, oh, that's lovely. I what what would you have absolutely said? Absolutely revolting. I wouldn't have said anything because I'm English and I never, ever complain in public. But I would have felt absolutely <laughs> horrible about it, and then I would complain to everyone that I could think of afterwards. afterwards. Yes. I've written a strong letter. Okay. Thank you.